Teddy Bear 1000 here. Got a big box behind me. It's the package I've been waiting for. You guys probably guessed what it was. No one left it in the comments, but you probably figured what it is. So, I got the batteries charged that came in the other day. Let's open this up and see what's in it. Alright, I kind of got you. Let me get you raised up here a little bit more. I got you, uh, there we go. Back about as far as I can go. We're going to open this up. Uh, this is that tamper proof tape. So, uh, pilfer proof tape. So that means if this, if, if this tape has been already cut or it's like a seal or broken, you know, don't sign for it. But let's go ahead. Let's break the seal on this thing. I was reading, oops, sorry. It's got, it weighs six pounds. So. Down here. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Keep forgetting to use that thing up there that I made to move the cameras over. All right. Oh, this was her dad's knife. NATO military. Uh, I was going to show it before a couple times, but. Not sure where it was made. Made in Korea, I think. But it's still cool. It's a heavy knife. I mean, decent. Um, okay, so there's the deal right there. So first, okay, we got we've got a camera bag, a very decent, good-sized camera bag. It's from. It's, it's a commander. Um, I bought a bundle. I bought this camera. I've done some research and some reviews on this on this camera. And it's supposed to be badass. Uh, we'll get in more about the price. Now this ain't something that just everybody's going to be able to go out and buy. I've waited several years for a camera like this. Uh, nice and heavy. Um, so yeah, I bought, bought a new camera. I'm trying to make things the best I can for viewing experiences and, you know, um, it is 4K. I'll get into a little bit about that later. I probably won't be shooting in 4K most of the time for various reasons, but the number one reason is not everyone has a 4K TV or a 4K computer monitor or a 4K phone. So if you shoot in 4K, like if I'm watching a video on YouTube with the big screen TV in our bedroom and I'm watching 4K video, it looks no different from 1080p on a high definition video that, that I upload because our TV's not 4K. So anyway, now that that's out of the way, so we've got here, this is very well packaged. We'll get to the price and... Uh, it's not what I wanted to spend. I wanted to get a used one, but by the time I got the, I got the money a day late, it was sold. Uh, it wasn't like this. It was more of a professional grade, but it was a discontinued model. So, uh, well, actually, it was professional grade. This is like one step down from professional grade. I'll get into that, too. It's... Uh, FDR-AX53. Everyone just calls them the AX53. The next one, I believe, is the is the 100, which is uh, is professional. Which really, there's only like three other things that that it'll do for professionals that I would never really use, and it, it costs you know 
um, a lot more than this. Not a lot more, but uh, substantial amount more. I mean, it was more than what I wanted to pay for just YouTubing. So, let's open this up. What we have here, it's a Vivitar professional whatever they always say that LED video light it includes VL900 video light handheld mount oh cool uh, warming filter transparent filter camera shoe mount adapter MP-F550 battery and battery charger instruction manual and warranty information so it does have a warranty cool and apparently so it's got should have a fairly decent battery in it I mean it's Vivitar you know it's not like Sony like the camera Sony that's you know if I buy a camera it's always going to be a Sony unless you know I buy it at a flea market or a yard sale and it happens to be a Panasonic and I get a good deal on it yeah I'll buy it but as far as for me to buy one to use it's never going to be anything less than a Sony. I don't care. That's my favorite. Some guys like Canon. Some guys like JVC, which I have a, my JVC here, which is a $179 camera. I just looked it up the other day. Again, they're holding their price. It's a $179 camera I got for $25. Actually, a guy said $25, and all I had on me was $20, so I got it for $20. Um, it's, a, it's a decent camera. I don't care for it. There's some things I don't like about it. Uh, but anyway, so this must be the user guide. So let's see here is the I'll try to stay in front of you here. Hopefully you got enough light because I kind of got this shaded so we don't get a lot of glare from these lights above the the workbench. So, okay, so we've got this must be sorry. Ooh, the monkey should be out here. These are poppies. Everybody loves these things. Okay. Yep, that must be the handheld part. There's the battery, the battery charger, and there's for the shoe mount. Um, it's not a hot shoe, it's called a cold shoe, but so there's that. Does it? Okay, it's got the plug. It's kind of like similar to the batteries. I bought for the camera, so let's go ahead and open this up. And there is our light. That is awesome. And there's where the batteries go. Looks like you got a high and a low. So. And you can also, of course, put it on a tripod or mount it to the camera, which is what mostly what I'll do. Okay, this is badass. All right, so there's our light. Let's just put it in there for now. All right. Oh, it's got a decent warranty on it, too, so. Right, let's open this up. This is a tripod that comes with it. We call it a spider. Some kind of spider tripod or something like that. That's cool. It comes with it. Like I said, I got a bundle. So, you know, it'll move. It'll bend around. Different things. Uh, so this came with it. Make sure... Oh, this is a quick release. Okay, awesome. So that's cool. A little spider tripod thingy. That's pretty neat. Or you can use it as a handheld. So that's going to go here. And we've got this thing, which should be like a cleaning kit. Or not like a cleaning kit. I hate when people do that. Now they got me saying it. Um, that's like a truck, ain't it? No, it is a truck. <laughs> this is like a cleaning kit. No, it is a cleaning kit. 
okay whenever you bundle you know you, you get a better deal this is a card reader so you know a USB card reader it's a 2.0 but that's okay it's a card reader you can put you know plug in it's it's got different cards it'll read different types of cards this is what I like comes with a 64 um, gigabyte memory card now I, I've been seeing where okay this is a class 10 they say you want to use class 10 on these cameras so it is a class 10 64 gigs that's awesome This is um, what else we get here? Okay, we got photo and video bundle. Download your application using the links below. So I get all these. There's five of them. Okay, so I get a video editor, photo editor six, photo manager two, photo focus one, photo uh, denoise one so Apple and Windows so that's cool so I will be downloading them because I get the I get them for free so alright so this is I'm making a mess I know this is just one of them little little blow things you know little what you call it there okay sorry about that guys I'm back that was my niece she has a Suburban, and she pulled into my sister's house, and it wouldn't go past neutral. It wouldn't go into reverse or park. And she says she shut it off in neutral, and it started once, and then she tried it again, and pulled it back down into drive, checked the gears, and now it doesn't want to start in neutral. So I think the linkage is slipping, so they're going to look at it tomorrow and let me know what's happening. Okay, so let's go on. All right, I showed you. I showed you this. Just one of those little. It just blows the dust out. Okay, let me move this stuff out of the way here. Uh, I can't remember what this is. Oh, this. I think this is a little brush. Let's open it up and see. It's a. They called it some kind of pen. I can't even remember now, but. Yeah, a little brush there, and let's see. just to brush things off. Okay, so we got that. I'll get to the price here in a minute. It's a lot more than what I wanted to pay for a camera, but um, to me, it's well worth it because it's brand new. It's got a one-year parts warranty. And 90 day um, uh, shoot. yeah right 90 day labor uh, you know so 90 days three months if I have to take it in and have it repaired I can take it into a, a certified Sony dealer and they'll fix it at no cost at all after 90 days they'll pay for the parts but I'd have to pay for labor so um, let's see what is this I'm not sure what these are for use with digital cameras oh cool okay yeah it's just a cleaning kit and another little tiny tripod I don't know how that thing's gonna hold this camera up because it feels kinda heavy but Commander, I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to figure out what this stuff is. So I did get, I got two tripods with it. Then we'll we'll start getting into some of the good stuff. These things are handy. Everybody says I never use them. Well, I do because I don't like to scratch my lenses. So. All right, now, speaking of which, all right, let's see here. This, this is a microphone. It's 
shotgun mic. Kind of cute. And it's got the cold mount, cold shoe there. Alright. Now we've got also, we've got the Commander Pro HD series. Everything's Pro. If it says Pro, you buy it. Three piece digital filter kit. So it will have um, three different filters. I know one, one's. One's for like fluorescent for like around here so I don't have to like you put you you put the filter on it and it'll it's also got a case with it and it'll keep like the glare down um, here they are here I have to do some research on these um, but and they are packaged well and that's like a purple one there should be like a yellowish one for like sun I think this is just clear um, which I will put on because I'll show you here in a minute. Well, I'll put that one on. Then this this has like a like a brownish haze to it, which I have I have one of those and I haven't used it because it doesn't really fit anything I've got. It'll fit over this, but it's not for this camera. So let's put this back in here and I'll show you. It's got two more lenses. Um, I don't have a lens cover. I forgot to order a lens cover, so I got to get one of those. They're they're pretty cheap. This is a macro lens. It's from Vivitar, which Vivitar is really cheap stuff. If you buy the Vivitar camera, it's very cheap. So, um, but this is the macro lens that you screw on. See, it does have caps on it that you screw on and you really zoom in onto something. You know, if I really want to read that or get a close-up of a flower. But see, this camera does just fine. So macro lens, I've got a couple macro lenses for my other cameras I never really had to use because it they just focus, you know, especially these Sonys, they really focus in great. Um... And this one is a telephoto lens. Uh, I'm not going to open it because it's the same as that, only it's telephoto. It, it'll go way out. 2.2 uh, times professional telephoto lens. It's a 62 millimeter front thread. So uh, this actually has a front thread on it as well. The camera I'm using now, which is now Monkeys, it's the blue one. Um, see, like this one, see, there's no threads around here. So you can't put a lens at all on this thing. And it's like I said, $179. You can get them for $170. Okay, so let's go. Let's get this big guy out here. This is the star of the show today. So let me move this box. We'll get him down here on the bench and we'll check him out. Alright, I hope you guys can see okay because if I pull that off, I'm afraid it's too bright for you. But anyway. This is it here, like I said before, the FDR-AX53, the AX53, it's a handy cam, made by Sony, 4K. Okay, so now this thing has so, so many features on it, but it's got one, well two, really, but one in particular, um, and we've got our books. They're in many different languages. This is the book we'll be using. Uh, limited warranty. So, um, this is, yeah, for accessories. Uh, they got some kick ass microphones and lights for these things, too. Um, but, I'm going to set these aside for right now. Let's open this up. And, this is part of the charger here of course the end that you plug into the wall we have our uh, it goes into HDMI cable or uh, USB to HDMI this is the charger that um, you plug this into here you plug this into the camera and that's how you charge it. Um, 
and also the um, just a regular USB cable right there for uh, file transfer we have here the battery which I'm sure is probably going to need charged but already have the extra here this one's fully charged uh, and I got the other one on the charger it just became fully charged so this is ah, I can't see what this is there 1900 milliamp hours I'm not sure what I don't know if I upgraded on the new batteries or not but see we'll see here in just a second as soon as this focuses um, 2540 milliamp hours so this battery will last longer than this one and it's actually a little smaller so that's good all right now let's get this guy out of the box here Wow It's got some girth to it. Look at this thing, guys. I know you can't tell, but I'll show you in a minute. Here's the JVC. And here's the X53. The Sony. And then I'll show you this Sony that we're using here in just a second. But right now... But... Yeah, see, I'll definitely be using a lens because this is wide open here, so. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's install our battery. It just clips in like that. And uh, a lot of things, guys, a lot of guys don't like on this, but it's the same as the one we're using now, is that um, it, it doesn't... Uh, like as soon as you open it up, the power kicks on. So, all right, now here's one of the features, night shot. So it does have night vision. And here's where the SD card goes, right there. Um, this is a little HDMI port there. The, I guess it's the mini HDMI port. This flips open and that's another thing a lot of guys don't like and I don't either the way it just kind of hangs out like that I don't like that it's too easy to break off which I'm sure it'll happen but this is a hot shoe not a cold shoe it's a hot shoe so if you look down inside there I don't know if the camera is seeing it but that's what like if you get an accessory that's that's for this camera that's for a hot shoe it'll clip in there and you don't have to have extra battery source so it works off the battery on here it can take a photo of course but this it's like the one I'm using you can take still images while you are recording okay and it also has that little deal there that we can look through I think you gotta have this closed though but yeah now you can see inside there so that's kinda cool and uh, usually once you look through these it used to be they were just in black and white now they're in color okay so let's open this up and it is touch screen and it is smooth let's go to next all right this is all set set the time and stuff like that so I'll have to deal with that later. So right now, let's get out of here. If it'll let me, I may have to set the time and everything. Um, daylight saving time on. Let's just go ahead and hit that now while we're in here. Okay, English. All right, let me go ahead and set the date and time on here. They're all pretty much the same, so you can change, you know, you can do the English version let's just go next we'll keep it at that for now see it's J January and then you can up down July 
and then I'll go ahead and set the date and time and I'll be right back with you guys okay so I got everything set um, of course I can up here on top here I can zoom I can do it here on the touch screen now that's just got the card lights blinking also it's on two channel right now but it's also got 5.1 surround sound and it is also Wi-Fi so I can stream apparently on certain things I'll have to go through all that and check all that out later but this is just the initial uh, review of it also here it's got manual mode I can turn this ring like to focus in like right now I can turn the ring and zoom in or out now if I click the manual button see there's zoom okay let's go to focus uh, let's do it again whoops yeah 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 now let's go let's hit focus I don't know if I'm on focus or not no it's still on zoom for some reason anyway that's something I'd have to figure out later as the focus and you know how I do all that but right now it'll zoom because everything's on auto see if I go to menu uh, let's go to camera mode um, steady shot that's what we're going to get into here in a second but see all this stuff is on auto so alright let's get out of here now there's something I want to show you alright it's got the uh, it's called the boss system in it the balanced optical steady shot now, I don't know if you guys can see in there can you see the lens now when I'm moving this camera around that lens is actually moving it's got a five axis a lot of guys say it's not really a gimbal but it's like a gimbal well if it's a five axis and it's doing everything as a gimbal does it's a gimbal that lens is staying if you can see I'm moving the camera and the lens is kind of staying right there so we're going to put that card in it and let me back this out I don't know if you can tell how how smooth it is whoops I'm actually put I'm accidentally pushing the photo button up there but I know I'm moving the camera but if you can see it's not wobbling around like as if let's get the JVC out here man this thing feels like nothing compared to that behemoth this this screens always been dark but see see how like if I turn it like this way you can see everything in there moving around now I'll get to that here in a minute I'll show you really what it does now if you look in this one look how much smoother it is it's not jumping around see what I mean like I can it's not like boom. So we'll get to that. Um, let me see. Let's go back to menu here. Go back to this. Let's go down to. Let's see what would it be under? I forget. Night shot. Well, we're going to get the night shot. It's got face detection, smile sensitivity, my voice cancel canceling. It's got uh, built-in zoom mic, auto wind. So, it's got all kinds of stuff. Focus, magnifier, um, grid line, display setting, my button. It does all this stuff. The zebra and the peaking, that's something i got to work on. I know a little bit about, but not enough to mention on here. Um, it's for like when you're seeing stripes. And the peaking is when you're seeing different colors. It'll let you know like when it's zoomed in. So, let's see here... I think it's, I can't remember. For the, uh, to turn on the, um, the 
5.1 surround, but I'm not worried about that right now. I did see it a little bit ago, but anyway. So, then you got your shooting mode. You got your um, your playback function. Uh, go back to menu. Um, you got your edit. And of course, we're in setup. Here's your wireless um, function that you you've got to um, you got to set up with your your phone. Like control with smartphone, multi-camera control, live streaming, send a smartphone, all that stuff. Um, and then you know, here's your image and your quality, um, your file formats, and that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a card in here. Oops. I'm going to put a card in here, and we're going to we're going to put it to the test and do some recording. We're going to check out the mic, and then we'll show the difference between this Sony and the Sony we're using on the steady steadiness of it and we're going to try out uh, night vision we're, we're going to do all that stuff so let me get a card in here get it formatted and then we'll we'll come back from there okay guys we're on the old Sony this is the Sony I gave to monkey it is what is it again it's the HDR it's the uh, CX240 which has been a hell of a camera so I'm just gonna walk around here it is after 7 it's it while it's going on 8 o'clock um, this thing does do pretty good at stabilization and it, it is turned on um, let's do the zoom I'm not on the tripod we're gonna do the zoom here and the farther you zoom the harder it's hold it is to hold steady all right, let's go over here by the mailbox. I'm not going to lean on the mailbox. I'm just going to stand right here so I know where I'm standing at. And we'll get the new camera out. Sony's always had a good zoom. Let's see, let's zoom up this way. Keep zooming. Like I said, I'm just holding it. This is as still as I can hold it, free-handed. Okay. Now we're going to go right in front of the mailbox. This is where we're standing, right here. I'll mark the spot. Okay. We're right in front of the mailbox. Now we're going to zoom down here at this. There's a trash can down here. And just where, I don't know if you've seen that truck go past. Right there is the bowling alley. As you can see, it'll zoom, but I'm losing, I can't hold it steady. Okay? Now, let's go get the new camera. And let's zoom in down there where we just zoomed at on this one. Okay, guys. We're on the new camera. Let's zoom in here. I got steady shot on. Here we go. As far as it'll zoom with that, I'll have to. I got to change the zoom. This is just um, optical zoom. But as you can see, this thing is steady. Okay, so let me change. To digital zoom so we can zoom down to down the road down there so hang on a second okay guys so here we are move this out of the way so it don't get I got that mic on here I just don't have it plugged in yet okay this is the mark we left we're right in front of the okay now let's zoom down in there to start at the trash can Now let's go up here. Oh wow. If I was on a tripod, I could almost get his license number. 
Okay, so there, there it is, which we couldn't hardly make it out before. So that's pretty steady. And you can see how far away we are. That's um, probably right about a quarter mile. So yeah, that's pretty good. All right, now we're gonna plug the shotgun mic in and let's see how it sounds. Okay, so I got the shotgun mic on here and it's only really got two settings. It's got zero dB and plus 20 dB. I'll have to I'll have to mess with that, see what sounds better. Like I said, it's just a real cheap mic. Uh, now the shotgun I the shotgun mic I have, I've had it for a long time. It's a very good mic. It's probably better than this one, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'll have to film with this a couple days. Like I said, this is just an initial because see, like right now, I am moving this thing around, as you can see, but it's, uh, like right now I'm shaking it, believe it or not. But I'm seeing the lens inside there move around. So hopefully this mic is sounding pretty good. Also, I've got two sets of um, wireless mics. Uh, eventually, I will get a nice, a real good set. So what I'm going to do is close the garage door down, and let's check out the night vision, Okay. And we'll see how that does. And then we're going to do a comparison on the shakiness of these two cameras. Okay, guys. So we're going to shut this power down here on these lights. Then we're going to go. We're going to shut the power off. Oops. Here. Okay. Now um, we are getting a little light from that. Um, Okay, now let's try night shot. Wow, that's amazing. Now I have on top of here my IR light. Let's click it on. And it's <laughs> it's freaking dead. Okay, plan B. Hang on one second. Let me grab another IR light. Okay, we're back. I've got another IR light here. It's, it's a spotlight, but let's see. Look at that. That is amazing. I mean, it's fairly decent without that. Okay. But when I kick kick it on, look at that. That is cool. All right. Now, let's do this uh, jumpiness. See, I'm jumping. I'm trying to make it jump. Let's do the jumpiness test on both of the Sony's. Okay guys, we are now on the JVC. Also, this has a super wide angle lens on it. If you look at that, see you can you can see this right here. Now if I put this on top of there, so you can see the vice grips, but you can't see the channel locks. On this one, whoops. On this one, so you can see the channel locks right beside the vice grips. You can almost see another wrench there, right down in there, and that's all you can see. But see right there, you can't see the channel locks on the right of the vice grips, and here you can. Now what I'm going to try to do with these is I'm going to, see this one stays put pretty good. This one wants to slide. But this is what I've got, and this is, <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit record on these, and I'm just going to kind of, kind of go like this, and we're going to see if we, you know, can tell a difference, all right? Let's get them up here, maybe a little closer, is that, is that going to be, what I want to do is I want to kind of bounce this around, and as you can see, this is zoomed all the way out, okay? This one zoomed all the way out. Let's close this. I took the mic off of this one. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit play. And, we'll, and I'm going to bounce this around, okay, and see which one's better. All right. So let me get these turned on, and then I'll turn you back on. And we'll do the, we'll try to get this, you know, moving around a little bit and see which one is more stable we'll do a side by side but right here is it kind of you know 
and the color's a lot better now. You're only going to see as good color as like what I'm filming with right now. But let me get these set up. Okay, they're both recording. Like I said, they're both. That one zoomed in a little bit. Okay, now they're both zoomed out. This one's got a bigger screen, better color. Okay, so I'm just going to try to take this. I mean, to me, it looks like they're both pretty stable, but we'll have to, you know, get it onto the. Uh, it's definitely moving around in there. So I'm going to bounce this around and I'll put it side by side. Your next clip will see these two cameras side by side and I'll label them so you know which one's which. Okay, so hang on a second and stay tuned for the shakiness test. Real quick, see here's the difference. These, I know they're set differently, but like this one, you can see how many tools you see there. Now let's move this one over into the same spot. That's about the same spot. See the difference? Okay. Now, and it's zoomed all the way out. It's clear on wide, see? Clear on wide. Don't get me wrong. That's a good camera. It's been great. Great to me. Now let's put this one back here. Now see the difference of what you can see difference wise and it's zoomed all the way out. See that's going in and that's going out. Just wanted to throw that in there real quick. So there's a here's a little thing here. This is for your multi and for your mic. You plug into that if you want to like plug it into a computer and use it as a webcam and all that there's uh there's the microphone port and i got a battery blinking on the camera i am using and this one's kind of it's going down a little because i had the uh, night shot on that's okay i got more cameras for both of them so let me change the camera and i'll be right back with you i want to show you something else okay i forgot to hit record here we go I've got the app on here. Smartphone. It's connected up. Okay. Now, as you can see here, when I'm moving the camera around, it's this. And I can zoom in. Or I can zoom out. Or I can hit record and now it's it is recording what I'm doing here record and now it's it is recording what I'm doing here okay we'll stop that all right so it recorded it there's a menu on here you can do all different kinds of crap with it. okay so now all right Showed you that. Okay. So now let's get out of this. All right. So yeah, that's um. So that's pretty cool. That's kind of it in a nutshell. I'm gonna have to use it a few days to see, you know, how well I do like it. Um, like I said, let's open this up. I I don't like that idea. I really don't. I mean, it's too easy to knock that off of there. And this is how this goes in there, and then it plugs in over here. Shit. 
and plugs in here on the side. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're just going to walk around and film a little bit. Let me zoom me out, see what's shaking or hopefully not shaking. There's Monkey doing dishes. Hi, Monk. Hey. This is her camera that we're using here. The what is it? I, got, I keep forgetting. The CX240. Uh -huh. So this is hers. And we're walking around. Da -da -da. I'm just walking. I'm trying to kind of shake a little bit. I'm moving fast. Okay, now let's go in here. And let's get the Axe 53. I guess I got a 55, and I don't know. Okay, so let's get this. I'm going to take this off because we're just going to use the built in mic on this. I still just have it on two channel. As you can see, it's picking up my voice right now. So, all right. So let's go ahead and let's pick this up and walk around with it. Okay, I got intelligence stabilization on. We're walking around. And I'm walking kind of fast, right? Yep. I'm just walking. Zoom, zoom. Oh, cool. Let's see, it's, it's picking up her. Look at me. Look at me. Smile. Cool. Okay. All right. Here's this. Um, same way. We're back out here. Okay, let's go outside. She's got me locked in. She's afraid I'm gonna escape, guys. Okay, so it's dark. Okay, so it does, wow, you can see a difference. I'll show the same view with the other camera. But let's hit um, night shot. There's night shot. And that's without the big IR light. So that's pretty impressive because that truck's a good 30 feet away. And I mean, it's just got a little. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's take you off a night shot. All right. Now let's come out and let's film the sky. It also has um, time lapse. So let's go in, let's get the other Sony. There's the moon, let's zoom in on that moon. Cool, it's not all the way. That is awesome. All right. Wow, that is really cool. Okay, let's go get the other camera and let's shoot up the sky and see what it looks like. So we're going back in here. It's pretty cool. I like this camera. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, whoops. All right, so let's get this camera. Okay, now we're on the old camera. This camera here is the one we just was outside with. So, all right. It also has a power button here too, so you can click it off there. All right, let's go outside again. And let's look up the sky and see if there's a difference. Now this camera does not have night vision. They call it night shot. But. Okay, so this one's not too bad either. But let's zoom in. Oh, shit. The clouds covered the moon, but... Yeah, see right there already, it's... So, yeah, this is a pretty good camera. This camera at Walmart is like 190 bucks now. Uh, so, I gave 40 for this one. It was new. It just wasn't in the original packaging, but it was new, and you could tell it, it had never been used. I mean, it was still in its plastic and stuff. It had the uh, book, it had everything with it, it just didn't have the box. But you could tell it had never been turned on before or used, so. So this is pretty good, but let's, we'll look at the difference. And then we'll go from there. And then I'll give you my thoughts on that. I better lock myself back in so she knows I'm not escaping. 
Hi, Monk. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so here we are back in the garage. Alright. There is so much more, like I said, I'll have to do an update on that to show you everything that this thing does because it is un unreal what this thing can do. Yes, it's a little heavy, but so turn it on down here. But it's it's amazing. I mean, you see what that's showing. You see what this is showing. So I mean, they're both good cameras, but this is more of what I need right here. And uh, it's so easy, Monkey will be able to use it as well. So yeah, that's. Um, yeah, it's awesome. That's the IR light function there. And as you've seen, we use the my phone to use as a remote control, which is good because usually they got them little cheap ones, you know, something similar to that thing. But, all right. So there we go, guys. I'm going to do my outro, my closing with this and um, if there's anything else I can think of right off the bat I'll let you know but I do like the touch screen see that's active so yeah pretty cool still got 47 minutes on the battery left alright guys alright so I thought I'd show you this it does have some juice in the battery I mean I will fully charge it before I start using it um, like I said, it does have a handheld thing. You can also put it on a tripod, but it's also got this, which we're going to put on, and we're going to try it out on that camera. But um, it's got, let me get it turned on for you here. There. See, it's got different, if you hold that button, it gets brighter. If you hold that button, it gets dimmer. And it's got a little gauge, so you don't have to keep looking out here at it. So let's get this mounted on here and um, we'll turn this camera on, set it on the trip. We'll check the light out, then we'll put, it, put you on the tripod and we'll do our closing with this. Okay guys, now we're going to try this big ass LED light out. Let's turn this off and we'll turn the light on. Holy crap, this is on low. Now let's go to high, and there's the high level. Wow, that's amazing. Take it back down to low, there we go. And off, and night shot. Pretty cool, huh? Like I said, this is just the night shot that's built in. To the camera itself and this is the spot IR light so cool all right let's talk about it for a minute okay guys so that's the quick version of it um, man this thing is really really widescreen I mean I got the camera sitting right where I I do when I have the the little one this one I see this has got a cold shoe mount on it but this did not come with a with a mount um, neither did this one so you can't put any attachments I put that on there myself I hot glued that on there and um, put a couple screws in it so I could have a light and whatnot on it so but so far this is exactly what I'm looking for it's a little heavier but you know you've got a camera it's a little bit bigger um, you know got this big ass light here um, that's going to come in handy but we also have the little light if we need it so um, yeah that's uh, uh bring it down a little bit but yeah that's that's a big ass bright light but i like it it also has a filter I just had it out. Let me grab the filter for the light. So, like, if I stick the filter on, 
See the difference in it? Okay, so, like I said, it does so much. I'll probably have uh, another part at least, um, or another, maybe two parts to this, just about this camera. Um, but as you can see, just in a nutshell of some of the things it does, um, you know, like I, I, can, I can zoom it right here. I don't have to reach clear back and hit the zoom. You know what I mean? So I can just grab it right here and zoom it. Zoom it just like that if I want. So I'm really impressed with it so far. It's just what I wanted. Uh, now about the price, I don't think I mentioned the price. Now these things um, you can buy. You, all you get is the camera, the battery, the battery charger, and the two cables. Uh, it's like eight hundred and thirty-eight dollars. All right. I got this, and that's brand new. Now I got this brand new. Um, my tripod's not right. Hang on. There we go. I got this one brand new, but I got a bundle kit. We saw everything that was in it. It was nine twenty-five, free shipping. It came six days early, so you know three to six days. All right, so I'm impressed. I like it so far. Like I said, once I figure out, you know, how to use all the other stuff that the other cameras don't have that I got to refresh myself with because, you know, I've had cameras that had, had that stuff on it, but I usually never really used it. That's more professional style, but this is not a professional grade camera. I think the next one up might be the Axe 55, but I know the Axe 100 is, but I believe the Axe 55 has the three buttons on the back for your zebra and two other things that you can do um, more on the manual this right here it's all automatic but it's it's just manual now, I can use this to focus with once I figure out how to use the manual button you know if I hit the manual button here it comes up there and you do stuff and whatever I'm not sure how to, how that works yet but as far as just using the camera, Monkey won't have a bit of problems using it because, you know, it's pretty much the same as this. You know, there's your still image, there's your zoom in and out, there's your record button. Uh, this one's identically the same, the same way. The menu's pretty much identical except for it has more options than that does, of course. But so far, two thumbs up. I love it. And uh, I want to say thanks, Monkey, too, because, uh, you know, she helped me get this, too. Um, and she knows I've been waiting on it and been excited all day. I was kind of bummed when it said, well, uh, I, got, I got a notification the other day saying, well, it's going to be one business day later, which would have put it to tomorrow. And I was like, well, that's still five days early. But then I got another notification saying, nope, it's back on schedule. It's in Jacksonville. This was yesterday, I think. And that it would be here today by nine o'clock, and it sure was. Um, so, which it's, um, which I got a couple hours ago. It's nine sixteen right now. So it came about a little after seven. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Six days early. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, my videos will get better, and um, maybe you guys will, uh, you know, enjoy it better like when I'm vlogging and walking with the camera it won't be as hopefully it will not move as much you know like I'm moving this right now you can see it a little bit but I can see the lens in there you know uh, kind of moving a little bit so um, I mean I'm really shaking this thing you know so anyway again guys um, stay tuned for more videos not just of this camera but with the camera um, and as I find out more features and and use more stuff I'll, sh I'll pass that along with you guys and I'll show it to you so if you guys are considering getting one or whatever um, then you'll have some more ideas of, of how things work because that's what I've been doing watching YouTube I've been doing videos on I've done a week's worth of watching videos on this particular camera before I ordered it because I want it to be right when you're spending almost a thousand dollars on a camera. Um, just so happens that, you know, I just, I had the extra money and 
Um, this thing will pay for itself in about three and a half months, let's say four months. YouTube videos will pay for this camera. Um, so if you want to look at it that way. Um, I was wanting to spend five or six hundred dollars on one. But like I said, the six hundred dollar one that had all kinds of accessories, um, it, it got sold. So I found this one. It was the cheapest that I could find that did everything I wanted it to do. Like I said, I could have got it cheaper for $138 or 148 whatever. But like I said, that was just bare minimum. And then I would have, you know, which I, I, I paid uh, $29 for the two extra batteries and the charger. So now I now have three batteries and a charger. So I'm good on batteries. Um, but like I said, it would have, you know, for less than a hundred dollars more you know i got a couple little tripods i got a cleaning kit um i can get the uh i've got all the video editing software the photo software i've got five lenses i've got a microphone i looked that microphone up it's a cheap one it's like 30 bucks but that's okay so i got a mic it came with a battery um and this light which is right around 55 to 60 bucks depending on where you go and whatnot um, so I, I got a pretty good deal and I'm happy with it so far um, the bag is plenty big enough a lot of guys like the little bags I have some little bags but I think that bag is not too too bulky so we still have the two other ones now that are kick-ass this one this one's fine it's just you know the screens dark you can't adjust the brightness on the screen um, the the audio is a little a little more mellow a little more mumble muffle um, you got to kind of talk louder with this uh, it's a good camera don't get me wrong I just you know I use hers all the time all the time um, this is the one you know that I started using a couple years ago I did a review on it when I got it and I'm, I still love it but I gave it to monkey I told her when I got another camera she'd have this one well she counted this one <laughs> as another camera so she uh went ahead and took her into the, my end of the deal to her in and this is now her camera and she loves it so but um it's really easy to use it's light for um like i said if she has to use this one or wants to use this one vlogging so she's not getting that movement um she's welcome to use it and i think she won't have a problem with it because like i said the buttons are all in the same spot the the three buttons that she'll use the zoom the uh photo the still image and the record button they're all in the same place that's all she needs to know because I got this set up it's all running um, automatic right now because I don't use a lot of manual sometimes if I get in some tight places like on this I did want a manual focus which I couldn't do so that's probably what I'll be uh, using manually on that most of all on the manual part is probably for focus and macro um, you know, if I'm really wanting to get in a tight zoom on something, um, but I got to be, you know, got to be careful with it. You know, when I'm grinding and stuff. But I do have the, um, I do have the the lens cover, not the cover. I need, I do need to get a cover, but I do have the the lens on here. To to. I guess it's like a lens cover because it's covering the lens, so that way no dirt gets inside the camera. So, there you guys go. Thanks again. Appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll see how this does. I'll keep you posted. I will be doing another video in a couple days as I uh, get used to more functions. I'm going to try different things out, different lights, different lightings, some of the different lenses. And we'll do some more videos on, on you know, as it progresses, as I learn more of the functions, the functionality of the camera, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so thanks for watching Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Uh, I'm gone for now. Appreciate it, guys. Have a great week, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.